This episode of Stand Up Paddling TV is brought to you by the ACA, improving the paddle sports experience for over a century. Learn more at sup-aca.org. One of the great things about Stand Up Paddleboarding is how simple and fun it is. That said, all Stand Up Paddlers should be aware of the general rules of the road when it comes to navigating our waterways, particularly in high traffic areas. One of the challenges out on the water for Stand Up Paddleboarders is that we move quite a bit slower than motorboats. This can make it more difficult for us to move out of the way of faster watercraft. And even though we're standing up, it can be difficult for other boats to see us, even when we're in wide open water. This is why it's important to understand how other boats navigate through our waterways. So as Stand Up Paddleboarders, we can choose a course that minimizes the time spent in the path of bigger, faster boats. It's also a good idea to wear a piece of high visibility clothing to make it easier for other boaters to see you. Looking at navigation on a very basic level, you'll find colored buoys on almost any waterway that has regular motorized boat traffic. The red and green buoys are there to define the main channel and the safest path for power boats to take. To help remember where the main channel is, remember the rule of three R's, red, right, returning. What this means is that if you're paddling upstream on a river or if you're returning from open waters, the red buoy will be on your right if you want to stay in the main channel. Of course, for stand-up paddlers, the main channel is a great area to avoid. Although you can expect most boat traffic to stay in these main channels, smaller power boats that can travel through shallower water are a lot less predictable, and so they tend to present the biggest threat to paddlers. In general, in high traffic areas, it's a good idea for paddlers to stay close to shore and for any crossing of the main channel to happen as quickly as possible and together as a group. If you're paddling in a high traffic boat area, it's inevitable you're going to deal with boat wake and boats can kick up some pretty significant waves. The most controlled and stable way to deal with boat wake is to lower yourself onto your knees so that you're more stable and then point your board directly into the oncoming waves. You can then continue to paddle as you pass over them or just hold on until they've passed. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you're interested in learning more, make sure you subscribe to our Stand Up Paddling TV YouTube channel and stay tuned for more tips and tricks.